Hey everyone, um, the story that I'm going to be reading is the same as the last video that I did on ASMR. Um, it did change a bit, the author edited more of it, so I gotta read the same chapter that I was on last videos at the end of it, so yeah, it's called The Sleepover, Aurora POV. Verity, the most popular girl in school, giving out invitations to her pajama party. Giving out invitations to her party. I was invited. Great. To be honest, I get why she would invite me. I'm pretty popular at school. The attractive lesbian that used to go to parties and hook up. I mean, I even made things official with Jesse Channing. So many people are invited. For example, Valerie Okemos, Poppy Password, Jesse Channing, Jane Ruda, Lexi Brailsford, and some of Verity's best friends at Verity's party house. We're all dancing, drinking, making out, and much more. At 4 a.m., we finally go to bed. At 5.49 a.m., I was sleeping peacefully. Until I feel someone grabbing me by the wrist and pulling me into the bathroom. My vision was blurry. I rubbed my eyes. It's Jesse. Jesus Christ, Channing, do you ever fuck off? Jesse then starts tearing up. She's the type that cries when she's drunk. I sigh and sit down with her on the edge of the bathtub. What's up? I ask, looking away. I don't know, I just miss you so much, Alice. I look back at her as she mumbled those words, snot and tears running down her face. I sigh again, and Jesse suddenly touches my hand. Listen, Jess, enough is enough. What we had was nothing special. It was just a hookup. I raised my voice, but you made it official. Jesse muttered under her breath, I get up and leave the bathroom. Not even looking back, I go back into the bathroom, where I see Jane standing there in tears. Shit, not she too. I was overwhelmed and just went into bed. I had a headache and immediately fell asleep. That's the end of that chapter. Okay, so the fifth chapter is, it just happened. Aurora's POV. It's the weekend and I can finally rest a little. I wake up and see Lexi and Valerie still sleeping. It's 2 p.m. Holy shit, I've never slept that long in my life. I get out of bed and suddenly a migraine hits me. Well, I'm still hungover. I get up again and go to the bathroom where I see Jess sleeping on the hard, cold, tiled floor. There's no way she slept on the floor. I pick her up and put her in my bed. Jane then walks in and looks at me while tears form in her eyes. I then realize everything. I hooked up with Jane and say it was nothing. Then ignore her for weeks and then she walks in on my toxic ex-girlfriend sleeping in my bed. Obviously that's fucked up. I then go into the bathroom where Jane follows me. Listen Jane, it's not what it looks like. She cuts me off. No, listen. You hook up with me. You then tell me it meant nothing to you and ghost me for two weeks. Then I see you with your psychotic ex-girlfriend. What the fuck am I supposed to think of you? I stay quiet. I didn't mean for the hookup to happen. It just happened. I was drunk. You were drunk. And now if you excuse me, I'm hungover as shit. And I want to take a shower. Jane leaves. She's clearly pissed at me. I have no other option but to make this right. I then leave the bathroom as well. I sigh and grab my things. I'm gonna make this right. I then leave Verity's house and go to the nearest flower shop. Hey dear, how may I help you? An old lady comes up to me. Oh hey, I'm looking for some pink roses. Do you have any? The lady glances at me. Well, of course we do. Right this way, hon. I follow the lady to another room in the flower shop. 
a room full of roses, all types of colors. This is our room of roses, is what we call it. I gasp. It's so pretty. I follow the woman who goes to get a bouquet of gorgeous pink roses. It sure is. I follow her up to the cash register. Alright, that'll be 40 bucks. Cash or credit? The lady glances at me. 40 bucks? I give a shocked look. Did I stutter? She gives me a side glance. For a bouquet of roses? The woman stays quiet and looks to the side, then starts aggressively and impatiently tapping on the desk. Oh, um, do you guys take apple pay? I stutter. I finally pay for the roses and by the time I'm done it's already dark out. I walk back to her house. When I get there I text Jane to come down. She comes down in her comfiest pajamas, messy bun, and flip flops. I hand her the roses and she gives me a shocked look. Are these for me? Alright that's the end of this chapter. Alright this is the sixth chapter. It's called We'll See Dear. Enva POV. Ari follows me into the school bathroom where we go into a toilet stall. I lock the door as Ari raises an eyebrow already knowing what's about to happen. I lean in and pin her to the door. You're a hottie, aren't you? I flirt. I couldn't agree more, she replies. I lean in, but what I don't accept is Aurora grabbing the door handle and unlocking the door. She runs out while I'm just standing there in shock, back at lunch. Envy, your sister is crazy. She flirted and tried to kiss me. Ari yells, well then, I'ma go talk to her. Envy says after changing their emotion, you fucking flirted and tried to kiss my best friend. What the fuck is wrong with you? Envy asks me, clearly angry and jealous. She's mine. I smirk. Let me remind you that she has a girlfriend. Envy reassures me. We'll see, dear. Twin sister. We'll see. Alright, well, those are all the chapters for this video. If you all did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like these. And I am taking recommendations on what videos to make. Also, audio commissions. So, yeah. My name is Solisa, and I'm out. Peace.